Do you have shiny new tool syndrome? I do. You thought I was going to show you the newest, latest, shiny edger trimmer tool to replace the ultimate edger, didn't you? Nope. This is my ultimate edger review update. It also happens to be the two-year anniversary of this channel. Thank you everyone who has supported Pottery Crafters. I wouldn't be here without you. Most of us potters have done this at one time or another. You look at the tools and you think, I have five fan brushes. Why not 10? I have many sculpting tools, as you can see, but only use about three. Why not buy a few more? My point is, as potters, we like to buy almost every tool we see, even if we'll never use it. I call these my just-in-case tool, or someday I'll need that tool. I'm here to tell you that two years after making my first YouTube video, the Ultimate Edger Pottery Making Multi-Tool, the Ultimate Edger is still my go-to tool. So if you aren't the best foot maker or edger, or you just want the easy way, I'm going to show you the many uses of the Ultimate Edger. The Ultimate Edger and other supplies used in this video are listed for you in the description below. Let's get started. This edger has six edges, A through F, and I'll go through all of them and show you the different edges you can make. The Ultimate Edger is made from 20 gauge steel, making it very strong and sturdy. As you can see, it doesn't bend. The hole in the middle of the edger is a nice plus. It helps to keep your grip secure if your hands are slippery. This is A, the double edge. It makes a nice double edge on the bottom of your piece. Place the edger on a slight angle as you go into the clay. This will lessen the chance of marking up your piece. There are little pills of clay that can get left behind. This will happen with different types of clay. It's very easy to fix. Take your sponge and wet the area. Place the edger slowly and firmly back onto the foot until the clay is smooth. I notice this happens less with porcelain clay. Smooth out the clay a little with your finger, and you have a nice design on the foot of your mug. The double edge makes a nice safety ledge for runny glazes. B and D are called the lip edges. These are used to smooth out the edge of the rim on your pots. You can use any of these four grooves for smoothing out the edge of your rim. B and D are both the same. The inner groove creates a smooth rim and the outer groove creates a defined edge on the outside of your rim. I'm going to use the outer groove. Place your thumb and index finger along the side of the rim, then place the edger on the rim. This helps keep the edger in place. Smooth it out with your finger, or you can use a smoothing sponge. It makes a nice smooth edge every time. Looks pretty good. See how the edger makes a nice definition on the outside of the bowl and nice and smooth on the inside. A and B is the gallery edge. This is a cool edge. It makes a great gallery.
place your middle finger on the inside of the rim and your thumb on the outside of the rim. Now slowly and firmly place the edger on the rim with the A groove pointing inward and the B groove on the outer edge. Make sure you have enough clay on the rim to form the gallery. If your clay starts to crumble or get little pills, just add a little water with your sponge. As a beginner, galleries can be a little tricky at first. The clay is very soft at this stage, so you have to be careful when you're using this tool, or any other for that matter. You don't want to gouge into the clay. Smooth out the gallery with your sponge. It does put a nice gallery on your jars. If you're getting any value from this video, you can hit the like button at any time during the video. C is the top part of the edger called the raised design edge. It creates a nice raised design on your lids or on your pots. Hold the edger firmly on a slight angle. Press down and let the edger do the work. Nice and steady. I'll make another raised design right up here. Let's put another one closer to the top. Then you can put a knob on the top. I like this design. You can also use the C edge to put a raised edge on the side of your pottery. I just love the different things that you can do with the edger. A and C is called the knob topper edge. Place the C on the top of your clay and the B grooves on the bottom. Press firmly on the clay and let the edger do the work. Combining A and C puts a cool design on the top of your lid or any other decorative pottery. Add a little water if needed. When taking the edger off the clay and placing it back on, do this slowly to get the grooves into the same spot. Anyone who wants to see the first video I ever made, here it is. They always say the first video will be the worst. Let me know what you think. Nice knob topper. E is the single edge. This creates a nice size edge on the bottom of your pottery. Go in on a slight angle and hold your edger firmly against the clay. I use this edge a lot. It is one of my favorite edges. Now you may get these pills depending on the clay you use. A little water on the sponge will take care of that. What do you use to make an edge on the foot of your pot? Do you use a wooden modeling tool or some other tool? Let me know in the comments section below. This foot makes a nice safety ledge for runny glazes, making it a plus for beginners. creates a nice smooth foot every time. F is the bottom called the large edge. It works great for larger rims.
You can place the groove on the outside or on the inside of your piece. I'm going to place it on the outside. Hold the rim with your thumb and index finger, then slowly and firmly place the groove of the edger on the rim. What do you use to smooth out your rims? Any tools, chamois, or just your fingers? Let me know in the comments section below. Now that's a smooth rim. Now that there's a nice smooth rim on this pot, I'll use the pointy tip of the E edge to split the rim. Using your thumb and index finger as a guide, place the tip of the edger in the middle of your rim and gently press down. Hold the edger steady. Now you have a decorative split rim. Celadon glazes show this design off nicely. It's great to have all of these choices in a single tool. That's why the Ultimate Edger really is one of my go-to tools. Pottery making just became more fun. Today you found out all the cool things you can do with the Ultimate Edger. I'll bet you can find a few cool ways to use it too. To see more videos like this in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Please give the video a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see me cover any other topics on this channel, leave a note down below. I hope to see you next time, and as always, let's stay dirty.